Hey guys, Kevin Davis here coming at you with a Linux related video again. It's been a while. A while back on my channel, I started a, I guess, a series on uh, putting MX Linux on an old desktop tower computer. If any of you were ever waiting for the next part, the uh, bottom line is, is that tower ended up not being ended up being problematic. It wasn't a hard drive issue. It was actually a motherboard issue. So that went down the pipe. But uh, getting a laptop coming my way that's going to be a nice Linux toy. And I've been interested in trying to run MX Linux on Cinnamon. Debian Cinnamon does seem to be a distro that I go to from time to time. But I've been interested to try it in MX Linux. But I also don't want to put XFCE on there and then use the GUI and download Cinnamon and then have two desktop environments whenever I only intend to use one. So what I did is I actually found a user green unofficial uh, MX Linux spin with Cinnamon. And so I'll leave a link for that. Be putting that on my laptop and let's take a look. <laughs> effect full screen what I did was I went ahead and put MX uh, Linux cinnamon on my uh, computer uh, installed it as it is going to get simple screen reader and then you're going to see what it's going to look like right out of the box after you install it so but I wanted to let you know uh, putting it on everything seems to work out of the box as it were it's just MX Linux with the cinnamon desktop environment but uh, all I'm doing right now actually as I'm recording this is uh, installing the first updates and then I'm going to put simple screen recorder on and then you'll get to poke around with me just to see what MX Linux the cinnamon respin looks like. So that's what we're doing. One thing I wanted to mention was that I want to say this was like only 1.5 gigs uh, to get it. So, but as you can see, plain cinnamon desktop. Uh, here's all the applications that it ships with. Um, looks like we have both feather pad and leaf pad. Um, I do notice a few repeats uh, as I look through here. A document, an image viewer. I went ahead and already downloaded Shotwell. Uh, MX Viewer. Uh, this was a basic browser that I had never seen before, and I had downloaded a used MX Linux in the past. So either I've missed this browser or it's relatively new. And it says uh, add DuckDuckGo to Chrome, which usually means that MX Linux Viewer must be running on Chromium. And uh, MX Linux is actually .org, so I went ahead and typed that in. Just wanted to poke around here, see if I can find when and how MX Viewer came about. Um, didn't know where to look. Well, we could be here forever, so you can always just look in the about here, see what, what that tells us. Based on the QT Web Engine. I don't know if that's related to Chromium or not then, but, uh, yeah, anyways. Let's keep looking at uh, what else we have here. Go ahead and close this and see what other applications we are going through here. We were in Internet. Uh, that's an email client. I've never heard of that email client either, but I haven't been around Linux forever. But as you can see, all the MX stuff is in here. Um, do notice that Tweak is a bit toned down as we're not on the XFCE desktop environment. We're just on Cinnamon right now. So this is MX Linux with Cinnamon only. There is no default XFCE um, desktop environment loaded on here with it. So, But um, MX Tools and Administration has uh, both have the MX Tools. You do have Themes, as you saw. Themes is the Cinnamon you know, uh, appearance adjuster. So, but uh, yeah, all the other MX tools here comes in handy. It's what makes MX Linux a lot user friendly. Let's see what we have under Office. Oh, this doesn't even ship with LibreOffice. Here's PyLoader. Here's Sound and Video. 
onboard keyboard. Again, the administration also carries all the MX tools, it looks like. Didn't mean to load that up. There's the user manual. Applets and other things. Again, it usually ships with cinnamon. You saw hot corners there. Um, and places in recent files. And you can see system settings here and I believe this should be Nemo, I believe. Let me look here in the about. Yep. Don't know what this thing is down here. Preferences. Okay, global settings. Uh, but I know it's going to bug me. I don't need that above my panel. I wonder if I can turn it off. There we go, display, never. And just hit the apply. Yep, that turns it off. Okay. Some of you probably know what it is and think it's necessary. Good for you. While I do like pretty software centers, I have come to appreciate the uh, MX package installer that ships with MX Linux. And uh, if you know if you get this and you say what no office software well you just come here and there you go there's LibreOffice <clears throat> you get Microsoft fonts comes with only office and SoftMaker office so you have your options um, because I'm weird I might go online and get a uh, open office but that'll be later download some themes what else do we have here? Yep, that's where you can change the themes. And if you've seen Cinnamon before, it should be very familiar. You can put it all in MX. You can even put the old-fashioned XFCE MX Linux themes on here, it looks like. Makes sense. Let's go ahead and see what the MX Dark looks like here. Uh, could even use the Papyrus MX there. Take a look at blue. And you know, I think one of the reasons I like cinnamon is because I really don't care for the boxy. I like the rounded edges here, but let's see, you can add some more themes. Again, if you've used cinnamon, this is all very familiar probably. I don't, this is, you know, mint is the most commonly used cinnamon, so this shouldn't be striking for you, but it is nice to have MX Linux in a cinnamon respin. So, here's all the different themes you could get. But, uh, as I said, uh, I really like the, uh, the rounded edges cinnamon thing going on here, so let's... Let's go back here, reset some things. Uh, I do like the dark setting, but I'll just go cinnamon. And yeah, so all in all, pretty impressive. I think I uh, think I like it. You know, Linux Mint was my first foray into Linux, and uh, I want to say MX Linux was the second or third distribution I tried and uh, you know XFCE is easy enough and I and I like it um, but as I you know was saying that I'm not a big fan of the boxy squared off things and uh, you know I do I do like a fair share of desktop environments but uh, it is nice to have this option of having MX Linux in the cinnamon desktop environment especially if you are used to like Windows you know XP Vista 7 10 so yeah, anyways, if, if you were looking for another cinnamon desktop, but uh, maybe Linux Mint is either you know losing its taste in your mouth, you want to try something different, or you do like those MX tools because those are some pretty nice tools, uh, I think this cinnamon respin is a pretty good good route to go. Thumbs up from 
a guy who doesn't really know too much Linux and doesn't really have any qualifications to review and judge a distribution. Speaking of Windows XP, here it is after a few hours of putting Numix Linux Cinnamon on here. I did some tweaking and faming. Uh, you even see I made a little Linux Linux windmill thing down there. Looks with the window colors. Had to add some XP era games. I remember staying up late playing Bejeweled forever. So it even comes with the original music. You're not hearing it here because of my screen recorder, but I could hear it. Pretty catchy. You can find Jeweled pretty much anywhere on Linux if you know how to get around. Uh, I found this in the uh, MX package installer for, um, uh, I want to say it was under, not under flat packs, but it wasn't, uh, maybe the stable repo. I don't know. If, you're, if you have MX Linux, you know what I'm talking about. But, yep, so you have Bejeweled. Um, and I've been in a Tetris mood lately, so I got all quadrupacel or passel or whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me just speed this up because I got a little carried away as I was recording. In the meantime, on my iOS iPhone, I uh, found a Tetris with a twist, kind of a fun game. I think it's just called Block Puzzle. But, anyways, I also added, like I told you, Shotwell. Uh, it's a good image viewer. But wait until you see this. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Open Office. Yep. It still exists. You're like, why'd you do that? Well, first of all, I don't use this for Office software, this laptop. But second of all, I just felt like the old-timey Windows, you know, Windows XP Office baby is uh, just kind of goes well with the computer. And yeah, I'll probably change the XP theme here before too long. But you know, I just wanted to look at it, wanted to see if I can do it. I'll leave a link for the tutorial video that kind of helped me out if you're wondering how I did it. So other than that, don't think I added too much out of Audacity. Uh, the primary usage that this computer is going to get is actually recording uh, the audio of sermons I do. I'm a pastor, so. That's the primary reason I wanted this laptop, and I just wanted to dink around and uh, see what I can do here. So, wow, Audacity. Okay, there it is. 2.42. Some of you know the later Audacity is uh, kind of sketchy. Uh, go look that up if you want to know why. Mm. But anyways, uh, 2.42 is a good release. Firefox. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, commercial here for my own uh, Facebook group. So uh, don't worry, I'm going to skip right ahead to the group. But if uh, you like Linux and if you're a Christian like me, maybe you would like this group, Christian Linux users. So I uh, invite you to come find us. You can find the link right there. So pretty awesome. Yeah, so, um, you know, this is a pretty good MX Linux cinnamon. And you can have some, you know, relive the good old days with XP. Pretty easy to find tutorials to make it look like any version of Windows, save 8.1 and the whole uh, Metro UI, but pretty awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.